hello loves and welcome to my channel this is Deja the Realist and I'm coming to you guys with a new video I am not sure what this video is exactly I'm about to use a new air fryer that my mom-in-law just bought for my family and I felt like this is a good opportunity to make a video <laughs> so she came over one time and realized that we are definitely those people who will fry something in like our pots and pans and leave the oil in there for entirely too long. So she went ahead and bought this for us because, you know, why not? But I guess when I'm done and we see the food, I'm going to show you guys my process, how I cook the food. Today I decided we could eat some fried fish and french fries and typically we would cook that um deep fry style but just in like pots and pans um so yeah i feel like this is super cool perfect timing so she dropped off our new air fryer today and i'm gonna try it out so i guess after i'm finished at that point i'm gonna know what type of video this is is it a review on this new air fryer whatever whatever okay let's get on to this video <laughs> all right to start i just want to apologize if my voice sounds a little bit weird i'm just getting over a cold and it has me sounding like crazy but just bear with me this video is going to be super short and sweet so no worries i decided that this video is going to be a review of this beauty brand air fryer and for my very first meal inside of it I went with um, fish and fries as I believe I stated earlier in the video so I am going to fast forward through a lot of it because I'm just showing you how I prepared the fish um, which is really simple I just rinse it off the type of fish that we buy comes in individual packages so I take each one out of the package I rinse it in water and then I rotate it in the Andy seasoning that you see there in the bowl so now that I know how the fish turn out I want to say that one I am not um, in any form of fashion a pro in the kitchen. I feel like the simple fact that I can use this air fryer successfully should encourage you and make you feel motivated because I have never used one before. And I also don't cook very often. Cooking isn't my thing, but yeah. So I wanted to say but <laughs> aside from all of that, that I think this fish would have turned out much better if I used a wet batter for it. I think that in oil, obviously it's fine to use a dry breaded fish batter to put into oil because it's kind of wet. It's a liquid, you know? So, but with the air fryer, you don't have anything to give it that like same texture that you get from dipping your dry batter in oil, if that makes sense. So I wish that I had known at this time to maybe create a, a wet batter for the fish before using the air fryer. But now you live and you learn and now I can share this with you all. Next, I didn't really have enough room for all four of these fish. I believe this is tilapia. Oh no, no, I saw this is flounder. This is flounder, they're a little longer than tilapia, but in the center there, if you can see it, you have like a hook for you to lift that tray out when the food is finished or just if you don't even need it for what you're cooking and it was kind of weird trying to position the fish around it so 
Had I not been starving my family all evening, I probably would have just put three fish fillets in there instead. This is how the fish turned out. And do you see what I mean about the dry batter? Like, yeah, that did not look very good. I had the temperature up high. I did use the, they have a book that tells you what temperature and how long you should cook different things that I guess are commonly used um, or put inside of an air fryer. The fries were super simple because I didn't have to do anything. These were seasoned fries. I put them in there frozen and I just kept it. The highest temperature is 400 degrees. And I went ahead and just let those sit in there for 20 minutes and they actually did come out pretty good. After 20 minutes of cooking, these are seasoned french fries, if you can't tell. And I also did show the bag, seeing them seasoned fries, but yeah, they look pretty good to me. I like my fries really crispy, so I'll try to um, pick one up. And yeah, these are definitely crispy the way that I like them, but still got like some softness to it on the inside, and you can kind of tell by squeezing it there that uh, it's still soft, or still, <coughs> but it's crispy around the edges. Cause you see like this, I can't even, there, you can hear a little crunch there. Okay. Okay. Well, there you have it. French fries did turn out pretty good. Pretty good. I'm pleased. All right, well, there you have it. That is how our first meal in the beauty air fryer, I keep wanting to call it a pressure cooker, but whatever, it is an air fryer, um, turned out. It wasn't bad, but I was just having uh, experiencing some like rookie mistakes there the cleanup was super easy you can take that tray out the bottom of it is like some type of like non-stick material which is really nice makes the cleanup super easy fast great for the modern day family who has to you know sometimes eat meals quickly or prepare cooked meals quickly during the week. I definitely give this air fryer two thumbs up. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Bye.